Prey catching in the common toad is elicited by central nervous releasing systems that recognize prey and, depending on its localization, select the appropriate action pattern. Prey laterally, turning. Prey far afield, approaching. Prey close to the toad, fixating and snapping. The prey sign stimulus can be analyzed in the laboratory. In this experimental setup, different stimulus objects can be selected and be moved in the plane of an arena. As prey dummy serves a horizontally oriented stripe of black cardboard. Only when it is moved, the toad turns towards it and snaps. Thus, movement is an important feature of the prey sign stimulus. What is the influence of shape? The simplest change is moving the stripe in vertical orientation. A horizontal stripe is recognized as prey. A vertical stripe is ignored. To analyze when the toad comes to the decision prey or non-prey, the animal is placed inside a glass vessel so that it cannot approach the object. Obviously, the toad comes to this decision before it turns. Vertical stripe in the lateral visual field, no response. Horizontal stripe, immediate response. Changing the stimulus parameter velocity influences the turning activity, however, the preference of the horizontal stripe is preserved. This also holds for discontinuous, jerky movements of the dummy. Which feature of the stripes signals prey or non-prey? Is it really the stripe orientation in space? This can be tested by means of a procedure in which black stripes on a white moving belt traverse the toad's visual field in the vertical plane in different directions. The results speak for themselves. A horizontal stripe moving in horizontal direction elicits prey catching. Faced with the vertical stripe of the same length moving in horizontal direction, the toad even turns away. The vertical stripe moving in vertical direction surprisingly signals prey. The horizontal stripe moving in vertical direction, however, remains unresponded. Corresponding results are obtained for diagonal direction of movement. In laboratory jargon, we speak of worm configuration if the longer axis of a stripe is oriented parallel to its direction of movement and of anti-worm configuration in case the longer axis of this stripe is oriented perpendicular to the direction of movement. The worm to anti-worm preference results from a species common pattern discrimination ability. Does this hold also for segmented patterns? A moving small square elicits weak prey catching activity only. 
Two squares closely moving one behind the other are more effective. Adding further squares clearly raises the efficacy. Extending this pattern perpendicular to the direction of movement by a small square above, however, reduces the releasing value. Adding a further square in such a position has a similar effect. It can be concluded that an extension of a pattern perpendicular to the direction of movement reduces its resemblance to prey, while extension of a pattern parallel to the direction of movement within behaviorally relevant limits increases prey resemblance.